Okay, there's a. I'm on my way back down and uh, kind of keeping an eye out for something that I think is out here. Um, but uh, I ran across this is kind of cool. Um, the uh, tram cable still hanging in the air there. Um, there's a somewhere over there, there's another one right there. Um, but what's interesting is I don't know if you can see what that is there, but. Uh, that is more stave pipe, um, and I believe it ran to a, a Pelton wheel. Um, but I saw this, saw this uh, indentation here, and that uh, stave pipe runs all the way through here. I'll try and avoid walking on it and caving it in. A little bit of the coil there, um, some more coil here, and. Some more coil down along in here, and then uh, it looks like it's kind of collapsed under here. But uh, yeah, so pretty interesting. Thought I'd point it out while I'm uh, headed back to the car. Okay, so uh, chasing the stave pipe, um, I came across this manifold here, or uh, elbow, I guess maybe. Um, it looks like it did still have uh, some stave pipe headed down the hill and uh, I think you can probably imagine what I'm um, about to run across down there. I, I do see it so uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna check that out here real quick and uh, show you guys um, it too. I found something really cool. I uh, head down here a little further into the mess. Oh man get in here a little bit better uh, so we've got another Pelton wheel all set up um, still got the belt hanging this is incredible I don't think many people know this is out here still um, so we've got uh, would have had a stave pipe coming down the hill here look at that that big old manifold there um, there's the uh, belt for the generator, uh, but the stave would have fed this and uh, still even got the, oh man, the nozzle all set up and everything. And uh, so, yeah, so there's the nozzle there. Let me get that last bit of green area out of there. Um, there's the nozzle there that would have shot uh, the water directly into, uh, looks like actually there's two of them. There's another one right there and then this one here. So this is kind of a splitter. Yeah, you can see that manifold, um, kind of goes down at the bottom there, but this is incredible. Uh, so this was a, a Pelton wheel, um, Pelton designed this double cup, uh, thing. And like I said, so that nozzle there would have shot basically right into the middle here and uh, caused a whole bunch of velocity and everything. There it is. Does that even say Pelton? No, patent. Uh, I might have to brush at that a little bit, see if I can read it. Uh, 11,925. Or is that 19... 25 I don't know um, yeah really cool I'm gonna have to get some really good pictures but uh, so yeah the water wheel would have turned this big wheel um, you still got the belt hanging there off of it I'm sure it's strewn down along uh, the side here and then it's still hanging on on that and uh, of course uh, somebody had to disassemble it for some copper at some point in time. Um, but that's the uh, end cap there, the Westinghouse end cap. That's a uh, pretty good size. Even the, uh, put my foot up here for reference, but the size of the shaft going through that thing, um, pretty crazy. And all of this is the uh, associated bits that they probably pulled off to dismantle it, but uh, really, really cool finding this 
And I'm going to have to get some really good pictures of this. Okay. I uh, took a little time to clear out around it and get a little better idea of what all is uh, here. And uh, like I said, there's actually two nozzles down there. There's one there, one there. And then they actually had these block offs um, that worked on a worked on a uh, shaft, um, <clears throat> and so this would have. I'm sure that one not moving um, locked it up, and then this one would move um, move that either way. Not sure why it had to be so intricate there. Um, but, uh, basically it would have run that rod and swung both of those bars down or those flat spots, uh, down to cover the, um, cover the, uh, nozzle when they didn't want to be running, um, power off of it or whatever for belt changes or whatever routine maintenance. Um, I did see this side, it says patent, patent there, and then uh, this side here, um, it says 11925, get that to focus there, if it will even, there we go, uh, so I don't know if that's January 1925, or, uh, or what, but um pretty cool there is a little bit of um m&s san francisco so i'll have to look that up when i get back into into town or whatever but uh really really cool thing to find out here you don't find them this complete um very often and uh this one is super complete basically aside from um Aside from that, there is uh, this big, huge manifold here, just massive, but uh, that would have attached to the stave pipe running down here, and so really cool. Okay, one more last quick video of this site. Um, I just stumbled across this. Um, we're still at this pelton wheel and everything, and uh, what these are is, is uh, broken broken cups that have been replaced um so it would have been i think kind of like that or the other way yeah that way but uh there's a bunch of them here that are broken and um there's none missing so uh these are were probably in the corner of the building and then uh this is really cool this is uh one of the um replacement nozzles you can see that uh, it's screwed on, it's threaded in here. And uh, so like I said, there's two nozzles on it. Um, looks like another cup right there. Uh, but I didn't, yeah, I didn't really see this on the way in, but on my way out, um, deciding that I kind of screwed myself because it's all, um, I need to go that way, uh, but it's all pretty overgrown and everything. And the, the trail is way up at the top of this hill here, so. Um, but I found it, and uh, now I'm going to pay for it. So, pretty cool. We'll uh, catch you on the next one.